Advocates for an Equals Rights Amendment have been at the Minnesota State Capitol calling for legislation almost every week this year and last year as well. Now, with just two weeks left until the end of a new legislative biennium, an ERA, as it's called, is moving forward and appears to be poised to hit the floor. KTDC's Quinn Gorham explains what the language in this amendment looks like and what it could mean for the state. The Equal Rights Amendment has been a top priority for the Minnesota DFL since the beginning of this year. We were hearing about it on day one of this legislative session, and now it appears they're finally following through. The biggest roadblock for the ERA has been in the language of the amendment. DFL authors in the House and in the Senate had different ideas of what the language should look like. The Senate passed a version of the bill last year, but that version didn't receive a vote in the House. Monday, a new version was introduced in the Minnesota House Rules Committee, one that includes language protecting pregnancy and pregnancy outcomes. In other words, the House version of the bill would codify the state's existing abortion protections into the state's constitution. The Senate hopes to take a different angle on the bill. While we've taken different approaches, I think there is a path there for us to find common ground and hopefully, given the last two weeks, um, this will come over to us. I expect it will go to a conference committee and we'll have to work it out from there. If an ERA passes this year, the amendment would head to voters in the form of a ballot question. If the House version of this bill were to pass, we'd likely see this on the ballot in 2026. That would give special interest groups plenty of time to lobby and rally around this cause. We already saw several talk in today's House committee meeting, and we expect to hear more from them as this process moves forward. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Minnesota's Human Rights Act already includes protections for Minnesotans on the basis of race, sex, religion, gender identity, and more, but an ERA would enshrine those protections in the state's constitution. So, in theory, that would make it more difficult for a legislature to remove those protections anytime in the future.